So many people came into the shop. Okay, are you live? Ann Lynn Meyer is watching. Hey, Ann, how are you? Anybody else? Uh, not yet. Okay, all right. Ann, call her if you have any questions about anything. Just to kill time, because I'm trying to find what I'm demoing today. There's Anna like... Anna Simpson and Lynn Jenkins and... Hey, Anna. Hi, Lynn. Um, okay, so Roger... So I'm trying to get ready, but we have about eight people in the shop. And then over here, we've got Sarah and Susan, who you are all familiar with. Um, they are taking a class on landscape. So in a minute, Roger's going to show you what they're doing, but not yet. <laughs> Good morning, ladies. I'm supposed to talk to you. I don't know what to say other than I hope you had a great weekend. Sorry from that, I don't know what to say. Maybe you ladies should just talk to me. Okay, sorry. I'm, I'm demoing the chenille binding today of which I have never done. So I'm gonna experience it just like you would experience it at home. So right now I'm gonna make a pillow from one of the tree blocks that we um, demoed. I don't know, it's been a few months since we've demoed. So if you look real close, I've got a bunch of um, decorative stitches that I did on my sewing machine. So I just used all the different stitches on my machine and I used 12 weight threads, 30 weight threads, oh. metallic oh. threads. Hi, and ladies. Right here, I couched. Hold on, babe. Somehow or another, I flipped the script here. Okay. Everybody's looking at me and it won't flip back. So I'm just going to oh, say a little go. disclaimer is that we are not professional videographers. <laughs> <laughs> um, I got it. Oh, you got it. Okay, so we're not professional videographers, but we're doing our best. So, um,. So today I'm going to demo the binding to use um, chenille it as binding. So here it is, and I haven't trimmed it yet so you can see what it looks like. So here's the chenille it on both sides. Um, basically what you're going to do is you're going to um, tuck in your fabric uh, from your quilt back and your quilt front, iron it a half of an inch or a quarter inch in, and then you're going to stitch down your chenille it on either side so that creates a binding. See? Want me to hold still? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Okay, so that's if you want to use the chenille it as a binding. And I did use the 5 8 chenille it as the binding and the 3 8 inside the quilt. So this makes just kind of a fun throw quilt for babies. And it's a fun way to practice with the chenille it. So then Karen, and I thought she was going to help us with this demo, but um, she's not here today. So I'm going to just wing it because, you know, that's what I do best. So here we just sewed the white chenille in strips across here. And then once it was sewn, we got it wet and then used the chenille brush. It's a wire brush and just scraped it like this to make it ravel. So the elephants who celebrate Christmas too are just stepping down into the snow. So it gives it a fun textury dimension and then we ironed this back fabric and the front fabric in a half an inch and I'm just going to tell you because I'm doing that right now like I started five minutes ago getting ready for this and it's hard to iron it the exact same amount so that's probably going to be the toughest part of this hey Phyllis um, the toughest part is getting the same size of the front and the back, iron around the whole edge a half an inch. And then you're just gonna pin it together and then sew it down. And what um, Karen did here is she sewed the 5 8 chenille on the bottom and then the 3 8 on top to give it that double layer. So that's what I'm gonna do over here. So I'm gonna put the wrong sides together. And just because I know this is how Karen said to do it, I would probably try to pin 
pin it on both the backing and the front and then sew it all at once. But I think you're gonna have more luck if you sew it separately. So I'm just going to cut it here and then cut it here. And then as I'm pinning it and sewing it, Roger's gonna take you on a little tour because he loves to do tours. Um, he's going to take you on a little tour of what I'm look at, I'm giving season and, and Sarah a warning so that they can um, go hide in the bathroom or something. Um, they're, they came in yesterday and so they've been working for a day and a, a little bit of a morning, although they haven't been too focused this morning. Um, they're doing landscape quilts. So as I pin this, so just so you can see it get started. I'm gonna pin this here. And they piece the chenille it together, but you don't even have to worry about that because when it gets ruffled up and wet, it's going to just fray. So we don't worry about that. So I'm just gonna cut it here, cut it here, and then. And then I'm gonna do the pink. And if you can see, if you zoom in real close, Roger, I actually just added, that's kind of why I'm running late, is I was not gonna add anything here. Um, it, I wasn't gonna add any trims, but then I loved this. As I was walking past, I saw this. And you know I'm a squirrel, so I saw this, and it looked like it was perfect, I had to add it. So, so if you're interested, this is the tree panel. And I'm not sure if you remember the Peacemakers calendar. It was like 1990s issue. I know back in the day, my girlfriends and I all bought the calendar and we were all gonna hand applique this. So it's trees throughout the month. Excuse me. Throughout the year. So we've got winter, spring, summer, fall. So I've just been embellishing them. So here are a couple that I've done. And we did demos, you might have to go back to like April though, but we did demos on how to do French knots. So on this one I did French knots by hand. Um, here I used metallic thread that I did a back stitch by hand. His chest I used a 12 weight wool and I stitched that with the machine. And then all of these decorative stitches I did on the machine. But I experimented with all the different weights of thread. So I've got 12 weights, I've got eight weights, um, variegated. And then here on this one, I um, stitched on the tree. I did a free motion stitch with my machine with a 12 weight thread. And then I hand stitched the beads on. So it's kind of fun. Right here is that Glamour um, thread that was on sale last Friday, but it's couched on because it's the one that's too thick. So that just gives you an idea. And we do have, in case you want to make that quilt even bigger, we have fat quarter bundles of the coordinating fabrics. So I know that sounds like so much fun for you guys. All right, so Susan, are you ready? Oh, she's fixing Sarah's machine again. Okay. <laughs> Sarah's really high maintenance for those of you who haven't taken a retreat or workshop with Sarah. Poor season never gets to work on her own projects because she has to baby Sarah. And Sarah is actually her mother, but for some reason, she's called Sarah. So, um, all right, go, can you film her while I pin this real quick? Are you going to show it? Okay. Okay. All right. What would you like to see? To show. Okay. Just did. Oh, you look just, at that. I just did this tree. Embellish that tree. And come over here. This is that lichen. And I used it. What's that stuff called, Ben? That, that um, sprinkled up? Yeah, it's fabric magic. That fabric magic on those rocks. And I'm torn about this moose right here. I'm not sure what I'm going to do here. But I'm thinking I'm going to bring rocks all the way here. 
and in this way, and then I'm going to do some brushing. Okay. But I'm not positive. I'm still brainstorming on it. Rocks what are you going to do right here? Realistic. I'm going to do rocks all the way here and here like that. And then I'm going to put some bushes and stuff on these rocks to see. Let me see how that looks. Are you going to put anything here to hold that down or no? I'm not done yet. I don't oh. know yet. Oh. I'm not sure. Go show me your seat. Okay. We'll go over there. I don't want to go ahead of you, though. I don't want you to in my butt. Go ahead. <laughs> Come on, go ahead. <laughs> I don't know why you would be worried about that. I, I don't. <laughs> Where'd she go? You She's know, gone. Know. She's in there with it. Am I supposed to go yeah. in there? Yeah, oh. she just wanted to get in there so you couldn't get a picture of her butt. I just know I need to throw my butt. <laughs> oh, you could really so, This is the picture that I started with. Um, and then Beth blew it up to make kind of a pattern for me. And then we deviated a little bit on the mountain, so we made the mountains a little bit bigger. And I'm kind of working on the tree, and then we cut up some different fabrics. Sarah painted the canvas, and then we cut up these different little fabrics to kind of make the water have a little shimmer. So we're a little bit lighter than our original, but that's all right, I guess. Maybe if you hold, yeah. Like that? You want me to go behind it? I want you to come here, please. Oh, okay. Where is it? Okay. So we're not bad. We're getting there. I'm a, I'm a novice compared to Sarah and Beth. Are Way you done? Novice. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. And, go ahead. <laughs> They just have to apply it. Yeah. We're just progressing along. Okay, back. Okay, so I am still pinning this to the front. And I'm going to say what I think I might like if I was going to experiment with this is I might like to put my chenille it halfway into my seam. Um, so look at this. Look at this pin, girls. I don't know what kind of a sewing machine uh, fabric store this is, but look at this. It doesn't even have the head, the ball at the top. You're, you're moving faster than I can move. Sorry. Only the best supplies at Fabric Chicks. Well, you don't throw anything away. We don't throw anything away. Okay, so I'm still pinning here. So I'm trying to line up, and I am using that French Oro fabric just because I think it would be, be fun, but it is a little bit thicker, so I couldn't use my fine pins for it because they were bending my fine pins. Roger, you don't have any comments? Uh, no, I was waiting for a break so I could tell you who was watching. Okay. Kathleen Ratter. Uh, Hi, Kathleen. Stephanie Morris. Hi, Stephanie. Hey, Stephanie, how was your sewing on Saturday? Angie Powell. Hi, Angel. Diana Hensley. <laughs> Hi, Diana. Christy Lee, Mary Lou. Hi, Christy and Mary Kathy Lou. Kathy Eckert. Hi, Kathy. Okay, any comments? When uh, you read who's watching, it just makes me nervous. I just want to know your comments. Okay, so I have it pinned like this, okay? And if I was doing this at home and not on TV, I would probably take the time to put more pins on it. But um, I don't have somebody to get me ready before I get ready. So it's kind of just winging it. So I am using um, an 80 weight deco bob. Probably it could be an Invisafil. But I don't, I just want the thread to kind of disappear. So I'm going to start at the bottom and I'm going to leave an opening so that I can stuff it. Thank you. Rosemary Millet is watching. Hi, Rosemary. How, how is it down in Arizona? Louise Wagner is watching. Hi, Louise. Okay. Fran Harris is watching. Hi, Fran. 
Alright, Stephanie Morris, wish you had your confidence. Oh, well, oh, look, I have no thread in here. I don't know about confidence, Stephanie. It's just that you have to just keep going. Regina Rail is watching. I think what it is, Stephanie, is that when you don't have an option, you just make things work. Lynn Jenkins, you'll need to show the half inch ironing. Oh, okay, here. So, Lynn, can you see in here? Okay, I'm going to get large on it. There we go. So, I ironed this in half. And then I ironed the front in about a quarter inch. The front I didn't iron as much because there wasn't as much fabric. It's a pre-printed panel, so I didn't have as much to work with. So I just ironed as much as I had to work with. And I'm hoping for the best here. Okay, it could be an epic fail when I do this. I'm not sure. Like we might decide when I'm done that this was a bad idea. No, actually, if it if it doesn't work, then we just have to find a different way to make it work. Because Karen obviously made it work on the pillow she made, but okay. So I'm just sewing down the center of. Oh, Connie, did you sew your hexagons together or did you leave the two halves? Connie, you have given me and Judy two endless nights of sleep. We are hoping that you can them. Michelle Fry is watching. Hi, Michelle. Marie Castro is watching. Mary Lou says she sees squirrels, too. I know, Mary Lou. Oh, Mary Lou, that's all I see. Okay, here. I don't know. My thread broke. Hey. Lynn Jenkins said I sew behind on trees. Uh-huh. Lynn, I think we're all behind on the trees. So Lynn decided she was going to turn each of her trees into one small quilt to hang. Um, so she has a different one to hang each month. But we all, when we got started this in March or April, we were doing really good. And then, then like squirrels, we found something else to do. There's a lady watch. I'm afraid to butcher her name. Karen Marasic. Marasic? I don't know. Marasic? I don't. After you've watched for a while, then we get your names down right. But if we butcher your name, just in the comments, put the correct pronunciation. All right. Anybody else? Call us at seven seven five two six seven. 0204 at Fabric Chicks and tell us in person. <laughs> okay, there you go. All right, do you have any comments? Not so far. I don't okay, I don't have my phone, Rhonda so I Reeves can't see Reeves and it. Janice uh, May is watching. Rhonda, do you have an order with us for some daisy print? I think that you might have a bag here that we are waiting for you to call us and give you um, your ad. We don't have your address to ship it to you. Okay. Kathy Cavell is watching. Okay, sometimes girls, I can talk and sew, but I'm trying to pay attention to this. Without sewing my hands, then Nan Willis will know that I have black nails because I sewed over them. Mary Lou says, oh, like that. A 
think that's what she They're said. selling them because they can't survive. And Chris Lee yeah. asks, what is the background? Um, hey, Susan, can you show them this tree panel over here? Sure. What did she use for the shoreline and the houses? What houses? Okay. Is she talking to me? Yeah. Is there houses in your shoreline? project? Shoreline? Who has shoreline? I have a shoreline. I just painted it. I just painted the, the or is she looking at Susan? Uh, Susan's Can about to show you something. Okay, Susan's going to show you the tree panel that we're working on. It's kind of cool. It's real cool because it kind of already looks like it's pretty cool to stick your face up at the top. <laughs> like those potato chip bags, you know. Cool. All right. I'm out of here. Well, nice to see. Okay, you. got it. Thanks. Mhm. Mm and also, it's got to come when I'm not um, not in you. Well, I'm not sure yeah, if she meant. Is, do you Absolutely. have houses? No, I don't have any houses, but neither does Susan. Right. So the only thing that I painted this. Perfect. Good job. Good job. The background, mm -hmm. and there's no houses. Is she wanting to look at seasons, or mine? She didn't articulate, stipulate. Oh, don't get that close to my face. <laughs> Got some bad pores. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I just got some of this wet, so I've stitched all the way around, and I just got some of it wet just so that you could see. And I don't wanna, I don't wanna wash the whole pillow. Otherwise, I would just throw the whole project in the washer like I did with this one. So this one I threw in the whole, the whole project. And if you've ever chenilled it, you know typically it takes six or seven layers of the same fabric and then that's how you create your chenille. But with chenille it, it's a product that does the same thing. So here's one. This has the chenille it right here. It's a product that does the same thing, but with just one little, it's kind of like bias tape. So that's kind of fun. And then, so here I am. I'm just scruffing it up with the wire brush that you can get by chenille it. Ms. Hensley, did we answer your question? Uh, Jennifer Evans is watching. Janice Bunch is watching. So I didn't get the whole thing wet yet, but just to give you an idea, and then I'll stuff this. So this is what it's going to look like with the um, chenille binding. Okay? And then here it is also in a finished project. So I'll finish stuffing that um, and show it to you guys on Wednesday. And if you have any questions about the landscapes, like if you want me to demo the um, Texture Magic trees again or the pine needles or any of that, just put that in the comments because it's been a while since we've demoed that. Um, I don't, what, Christy, what are we demoing on Wednesday? I know we've already we already posted what we're demoing on Wednesday, so I I just made it up. So now um, I'll have to work on a sample. Jane Tanaka is watching. Hi, Jane. But if you're interested in this little rick rack with the plaid, I don't have very much of it left. So let me know. It is 240 a yard. You can just put it in a comment. So if you're new to this, every Monday and Wednesday, we do tips, tricks, and techniques where we just find some product in the store and show you how to use it. Um, and then on Fridays, we do a big celebration where we hold up items and then in the comments, you can put what you'd like to order. So if you have any questions, usually I follow along and read the comments as we're going. Um, but I didn't, but Roger hasn't read too many comments. So I'm wondering if he is not getting them. Sometimes his comments don't come up as much as mine. Uh, Sometimes it's just oh. trying to find time between. Oh my God, Connie, I love you. Oh, 
I've been, I have literally been not able to sleep because Judy called me and said, I think she sewed those together. And I thought, oh my gosh, you're going to have to mail those to me so I can rip them all out because otherwise you're going to cry if you have to rip them out. Um, Norma Jean, do you want the three eighths or the five eighths? Just let me know and I'll put the white in your bag. Um, Leilani Purvis, hello, today from Park City, Utah. Hi, Le Leilani. How long till you're going to be in Arizona? Okay, Mary Lou, I'll do the trees and pine needles again. Don't mail my stuff, says Mary Lou. Okay, I'll put a note on it. Here, let me write a thing. Mary Lou, what Mary Lou's going to pick up. Okay. Um, and Joanne Jeffers, hi Beth, that square is already gorgeous. Thank you, Joe. Jo. Um, hey, Bob looked really good. The, I saw the picture you posted, it. he looks great. Um, all right, okay, so I think like Roger has completely different comments than I have, I don't have any of those comments. Um, Rhonda Reeves, hi from Livermore. Had to come home from Volcano. Love watching you. Thank you. Mary Lou says she'll pick it up. Okay. Connie Wiggins said hi to Beth and Roger. Thank you, Connie. Okay. Um, all right. So if we've missed some of yours, I think Roger's getting different comments than I am. Hey Peggy, let me know when you guys are coming to pick up your bags and to visit because um, I will have Penny do some kind of a demo. The ladies will love it, but they're gonna wanna know. So I gotta put that on the schedule. Um, but your bag is getting pretty full. So if it's not gonna be a while, I can mail it to you. Harriet Flint is watching. Hi there ladies. So if you're new, we do tips and tricks and demos every Monday and Wednesday. If you have something you want us to demo, let us know. I will do the steam -a seam again, Norma. Um, but the steam -a seam too, basically, you're just going to trace. I always trace on the sticky side. I know that's not how any of you learned. But if you trace right on the sticky side, then your project is going to be facing whatever direction you're actually tracing. So you don't have to worry whether the designer flipped, reversed the patterns for you or not. So it always goes the exact way that you're tracing. So that's how I do it. I use a Sharpie, usually like a light blue Sharpie, because if you use black, it might show through if you don't cut it all off. Um, then you iron it to the wrong side of your fabric, cut it out, exact, and then I score the piece of paper on the steam -a seam pull off the, the steam -a seam and then I just, with the pressure of my hand, I put it where I want it until my whole design is done. And then I, um, once I know it's exactly where I want it, like this, then I iron it. So, and I never really care if I use steam -a seam or not because I'm gonna stitch it down. If I use the steam. I don't care if I use the steam because I'm gonna stitch it down. But I'll do a demo on that, Norma. All right. We With Lonnie Purvis, uh -huh. I'm coming into your area again uh, the end of this week. I will be there for a week or so before going to Arizona. Oh, perfect. All right, then we'll see you We'll see you soon. Brenda Amex is watching. Okay, so um, Leilani, why don't you, why don't you think about what you might wanna do or uh, like a technique you might wanna teach and we will have you do one of our lives. Fran Harris wants to know, can you show the tool that you use to fluff the Chanel with? And a close up. It's a little wire brush, kind of like a little porcupine. Drive okay. safe, we'll see you soon. Okay, so let us know um, if you have any questions and we will talk to you on Wednesday. I'll go back and read the comments and see if there's anything that I need to respond to. Because um, mine, it, there's such a delay. All right, we'll see you on Wednesday. Thank you.